Does God listen to our prayers? Perhaps the more important question is, do we hear God when we pray? If we hold prayer as a monologue narrated by us, we will miss the holy encounter that each sacred moment of worship offers to us. Jacob found a stone in a field to rest his head, God gave him the extraordinary vision to embrace the rock as a holy object. Perhaps God can use everything around us to create sacred space, even the dull grayness of a lifeless stone. Come to God in prayer and wrap your soul around the object of your petition and not the reason for your humble request. Is God not the center of everything, including rocks and stones? You can encounter God at any time or in any place. Why not now and here? Early the next morning, Jacob took the stone he had placed under his head, set it up as a pillar, and poured oil on top of it. Genesis 28:18. Jacob found the connection between heaven and earth in a dream. Moved and inspirited by the nocturnal encounter, Jacob raised a monument to the occasion. Remember, I am easily accessible, either day or night. Do not be disturbed or frightened by an encounter during your waking hours. I am ever present and always available to you. Let prayer be your first call for help or your initial invitation to connect with me. Remember that prayer is as much for your benefit as it is for mine, my sacred heart. The distance between heaven and earth is easily traveled through spiritual means. Too many believe that connecting with me is such a hard thing, or a heavy burden. Jacob took an ordinary rock and turned it into a sacred stone. Is your imagination willing to treat this place and time as a holy encounter with me? Open your eyes to the possibilities of what each day can bring. I just might be found in your very ordinary living. Don't hold yourself back from these sacred seconds, draw close to me, for I am already with you. I pray you will remain in this sacred space for a few more moments and relish this encounter. You will find that God is present in almost every event in our lives. The world around us is just the window dressing in which you find yourself. Some choose rocks and stones to adorn their personal space. Others will select softer sacred symbols. Thank you for listening, and God bless you for subscribing.